free to roam and have fun. This is the area some dog owners in Gibraltar want to become a permanent dog park. Gibraltar already has an official dog park which opened last year to mixed reactions. While it may have been welcomed by some, particularly those that live in the town area, many thought it was inadequate. This area, up by Lathbury Barracks, tucked away near the Buffadero training area, they say, would be a better place. It's been used as an unofficial dog park by dog owners who want the government to support it. And also, they say, they've been approached by companies to help dress the place up. Well, there are no neighbours to complain, no neighbours that can be bothered by the barking. It's completely enclosed, so the government doesn't really have to spend any money. We have people who are willing to donate to make it up into a proper dog park if we're allowed to use the area on a more permanent basis. And we also have a Spanish company, one of the pet shops over near Carrefour, who've offered to help as well financially if we are allowed to use it on a more permanent basis. How long have people been coming up here? And from the people that are here today, has there been uh, a cry for you know a dog park? We do have a dog park in Gibraltar. Well, the dog park that we currently have in Gibraltar is not adequate for its purpose as it stands. However, the, part, the Department of Environment have told us that they are planning to fence it off so that it can be used properly as a dog park. And that will be convenient for the neighbours who live down there. So I think there is, there is a need for a proper dog park where dogs can actually run around and you can see that the dogs here are enjoying themselves quite a lot. And uh, it, it basically is just a good place for people to hang out. There's a social aspect. A lot of people live alone. Their only company is their dog. They can come here and have some conversation for an hour or two. And it was needed. I've, I've presented a petition to the government with around 15 to 1,700 signatures on, many collected by hand personally, some collected at the two different vets and also an online petition. Dr Cortez has received that and he's been very supportive. So we've been out, allowed to use this area on a temporary basis. Hopefully that will turn into a more permanent uh, basis so that we can actually move ahead and clear this area, clean it up and tidy it up and make it more adequate for its purpose. Time will tell if the government will give the official go-ahead for use of the site and if they work together with the dog owners. A Facebook group has also been at the fore of the campaign, Doggy Playmates, and it's also used to help organise meetups with dog owners. There are some 500 members in the group.